control panels right here. This is going to have all your tank levels. So you may have had a unit in the past with a little push button to light the lights up. This one, they're already lit. So you got your fresh water, black, and two gray tanks on this unit. And then your battery. Okay. Uh, across the bottom, across here, you've got your lights. So your ceiling lights and your exterior light, which is essentially just a light strip under your awning. Water pump and then your hot water heater. So the electric and propane heating elements of your hot water heater. You don't have a pilot light or anything like that to ignite. You just basically push the button. If for some reason it's not igniting, this light, this DSI fault light will come on and you can go see maybe if you're either out of propane or you have your propane tank turned off. Down here is gonna be your controls for your awning and your slide room. Now what this is, it's a little motion sensor. So when you walk away from this, it goes dark. Oh, okay. And then when you approach it, it'll it'll light up so you can you know see what's on and what's not. Just nice. a little energy saver. This little sticker here, um, scanning that QR code is going to get you to the Lippert One Control app, mm -hmm. and then you've got your password, device name. So you can actually through Bluetooth run everything that's on this uh, panel through your phone. Oh, okay. Right next to that, you're going to have your uh, radio. There is a remote for this. So we do have it um, on your radio right now. It's two different speaker zones. Zone one is inside, zone two is outside. To turn um, either of those zones on or off, you're just gonna push and hold that for two seconds. So it's also Bluetooth uh, connectable, so you nice. can connect your device and run your playlists or whatever off of there. Uh, you can connect a component, you know, HDMI. You also have a USB and a, and a, a single pin jack as well. If you need to mute it for a second, just one touch on the power button, it'll mute it. Hold it down for two seconds, it'll turn off. Ah. Uh, motion optional light. So what will happen is um, it'll, it'll time out, and then when you open up your door, like for the first time, it'll kick on. So it's oh. just motion. We call it motion optional because you can set it up for motion or just turn it on or it'll okay. stay on. But either way, um, you know, it gives you that option. So. so we got your air conditioning. Set your temperature as you need to. Okay. Um, and then to cycle through the modes, you're just gonna hit this button, you know, hit that touch part right there. So that's mm -hmm. your furnace off um, and then fan setting fan is going to allow you to cycle between high low or auto mm -hmm. auto defaults to a high fan speed All right cool so that's uh that's your thermostat there if you look behind here you'll see this rounded piece clips in here so when you're going to travel you want to make sure you close that back in and clip it back in oh. place so it holds in place when you're traveling. The biggest thing that you're going to want to pay attention to um, for this slide is making sure that TV is pushed all the way in onto the mount okay. and it clips in place so it holds it in place. So you want to make sure you got that pushed in all the way before you bring that slide in. If it's sticking out it'll just rip it right off the wall. This red button, that's the power button. You see the red light on? Yep. For the antenna. So that's how you turn it off, that's how you turn it back on again. So if you're hooked up to cable, that's what you're gonna do there. Okay. You have to hold in the oven button while you turn the striker. Yeah, so hold that in and then put your in there. This refrigerator will only work when you're plugged into shore power. It does not work off the battery or if you're plugged into the truck. Only if you're plugged into shore power. Leave the blue lever always pointed to city water. Unless we're trying to fill the fresh water tank, then we'll move it up to fresh water. Fill the tank and then return it back to the city water spot.